Now page four, radicals running immigration and border protection. What if the socialists take the helm of securing, if you will, this republic from a foreign invasion from the south and shaping American immigration law and policy? What will happen? to our immigration landscape if Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren were to win in 2020? What if the Democrats take both branches of government, the Congress and the executive branch in 2020? Remember, not too long ago, Democrats had control of those two branches, 2009, 2010. However, at that time, the modern Democrat party was still developing its new business model of open borders. This sinister plan to repopulate and reinvigorate the Democrat Party with immigrant-type voters was still in its infancy. Today, it's pedal to the metal, embracing all forms of pro-illegal, pro-open borders, pro-radical makeover of this republic. Therefore, the answer is it would look like this. A non-U.S. citizen who violates our sovereign border would be a criminal no more. Crossing illegally into the United States would be illegal no more. It would be decriminalized. The border would effectively be abandoned and labeled a new opportunity zone for so-called migrants. Also, sanctuary cities would receive full federal protection. And because of these policies at the border, at, with the Border Patrol and with ICE, they would be stripped of funding. And that money would be used to pay for free health care for these illegals. But how do we know all of this will happen? Well, the answer is simple. Just listen to the Democrat presidential candidates. To a person, they're a bunch of open borders, anti-American, self-destructive, partisan hacks who care zero about the future of today's Americans and today's America. They only care about their party and its future. If they were to be in charge, then we would see this anti-constitutional makeover of American immigration law and border policy by this very dangerous group of political radicals. And among this Democrat leadership in Congress, poised to internally attack America, Hakeem Jeffries, radical New York. House Democrats believe that we do have a broken immigration system. Stop tape. Yes, yes. We have a broken immigration system. We've heard this broken record. Uh, we've heard this meme uh, in modern day uh, parlance. We've heard this boomerang uh, from Instagram over and over and over again. There's a broken immigration system. Well, who broke it, Hakeem? Is it okay if I call you that, Hakeem? Who broke our immigration system? You! You and your ilk in the United States Congress, in the House of Representatives, you are perpetrating this crime on the American people. America is being raped right now as we speak. She is being raped by a foreign army of illegals penetrating our southern flank every hour, every minute, every second of every day. More than a million apprehensions this fiscal year. No country can survive that. I don't care how large the population is. We're 300 million people. Do the math. If this continues, and if it increases, of course, it's even going to be worse, but if it continues at this rate, within 10 years, you have necessarily changed the makeup of this republic. And so who's to blame for this, quote, broken immigration system, the United States Congress. Article 1, Section 8, clearly delineates that it's the job of the United States Congress to regulate immigration. Back then, they called it naturalization. But it's also the job under Article 1, Section 8, to repel a foreign invasion. And that's what we have going on at the southern border right now. So this guy, this sanctimonious guy, Hakeem from New York, comes out and he says, our immigration system is broken because he broke it. Roll tape. We need to fix it in a Stop bipartisan way. Fix it. Yeah, a bar bipartisan way. You know what that means? I can translate. I speak Hakeem ease here. Uh, a bipartisan way means Republicans cave. And it means the Democrats get whatever they want. And the Democrats 
of course, we know historically this is what they do, and it's gotten worse in recent years, lip service to the border. And the deals that they make, like dating back to 1986 with Ronald Reagan, when they were promised amnesty in exchange for border security, we got the amnesty, of course, we never got the border security. That's the kind of deal that they want to make. They want to impose amnesty on the American people. They want people to come into this country illegally and receive protection. They want to turn the United States of America into a sanctuary country. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.